So we've got co-interior and supplementary angles. That was the first thing that we observed. What's a separate thing? Something nothing to do with co-interior angles. Leah, what do you say? This guy? Um, okay, fantastic. So we have these guys being literally vertically opposite to each other. And what does that mean? They're not supplementary, are they? They are they're 149 and 149. They're equal to each other, right? Because they're vertically opposite. Let's write that down. We've got, what did we say, Leah? PQB or BQP? They're both the same, aren't they? Yeah. Um, generally, if we have no other things to do, we generally put them in alphabetical order. BQP and what was the other one? A AQR. We said what was the relationship with them? They were vertically opposite. And they're not supplementary in this case. They are What are they? 149 149? They're equal to each other. By the way, um, just after you finish writing that, put your pens down. Vertically opposite is a bit of a sneaky word because these guys look vertical, right? But what are these guys? See the 31 and the 31? They're also, vertical. they're also vertically opposite, aren't they? It's just that their um, vertical is a relative word, right? Like if, I, if you, with me, if you turn your head sideways and look like that, you're like, wait a second, that's just vertical from another point of view. Okay, so they would be vertically opposite as well. We have co angles. We have vertically opposite. So I want to suggest something completely different all over again. Okay, Louise? Um, each set of four angles make um, uh, 360 degrees. Okay, fantastic. So you can see 360 degrees. Think back to yesterday. What's the word we used to describe an angle of that size? Revolution. A revolution. Very good. So you've got a full revolution all the way around. And if you went to your calculator, if you added up all four of these, or add up your four, if you like, you should get 360, right? At least if you measured okay, right? Okay, now, I, we, could, we could do this, we could play this game a long time. Merrick, do you want to give me one last suggestion before I start yeah, to tie this up? Adjacent. Oh, I've got a lot of adjacent angles. What does adjacent mean? What does adjacent mean? Krishan, yeah. Yeah, beside each other, right? Adjacent. So these guys are adjacent. Uh, these guys are adjacent. These guys, I could go on and on and on, okay? Co-interior, vertically opposite. There's two particular other features I want to highlight. I'm going to show these to you just because we would take forever on this. Though, Harry, I have a good guess that you might know where we're headed here. Have a look with me at, I'm going to name some angles, and I want you to help me see if you remember the word for describing them. Let's go at AQR, that's this guy over here. And also, there's another angle, a whole lot of angles, that are equal to this, right? I'm going to look at CRS. So that's these two guys. Right. Now they're equal. Does anyone remember what they're called? It starts with a C. Corresponding. Corresponding. Very good. Um, can we name those again? I'm going to write them down. I'm going to squeeze them over here. So I'm going to say AQR and angle, what did I just say? CRS? CRS. CRS. They are, that word that we just used was corresponding. Corresponding. And what do you notice about the sizes of corresponding angles? They are the same. They are equal. So these are corresponding and equal, right? Um, by the way, these two, not the only pair of corresponding angles, right? You've got these two that are facing that way. Can someone name for me another pair of corresponding angles? Can you name them for me? Jessica, what do you say? Um, angle PQB and angle QRD. Fantastic. These two here, right? So do you agree that they're corresponding? They're facing the same direction. Louise, do you want to give me one more pair? No. Or you want to give me a def another one? Another reason? Oh yeah, go um, ahead. If that's corresponding, what's um, cooperative? Okay, so cooperative is actually another, it's kind of another way of describing the same, it's a, just another piece of language. I think it's pretty much these guys over here because they're it's heading in the same direction. Yeah, that's right. Though I wouldn't use cooperating in this context because it's not a weather test that you recognize. Okay, now, just one last thing before, I've got one last one here to measure, okay? Just before I get to your point, Krishan. What makes them corresponding? What is it that makes these guys corresponding? You might want to draw this on with me. And if you have another color, be handy. Corresponding angles, they face in the same direction, right? So if you look at this AQR and here's CRS, you see they're facing downwards, as it were, facing the same direction. The other pairs that you mentioned, for example, see this 31 and this 31, right? They are facing in the same direction. Do you notice that? That's what makes them correspond. And what's opposite to that is when, wrong color, when we're facing in 
opposite direction. So I'm going to name for you lastly, let's have a look at, I want to find a good example. Yep, that's a good one there. Sis 31, what's the name of that angle? Can someone name it for me? Yeah, Roshan? Nice and that? Just that one? What's his name? Oh, okay. uh, it, is, it is an acute angle. It is, that's the kind of angle it is. It's size. BQR. BQR, very good. So write with me BQR. And what I'm going to pair it with this time is this guy over here. Can someone name for me? Yeah, Anush. Ah, okay. So I'm about to write that. But can someone tell me what's the actual name of the angle before I write Anush's word? What's, the, um, what's that? C R Q? The word that Anuj gave us was alternate. And you can see why we use this word. Look at where my arrows are facing, right? These are not like corresponding guys facing in the same direction. How would you describe the way they're facing? Yeah, Anve. Yeah, opposite directions. They're like kind of, um, oops, uh, one going that way, one going that way, All right? Sort of like a Z, except for me, it's kind of like a backwards Z. Um, or it could look like an N that's like turned sideways. Um, any of those are fine. I try not to say those because the Z is backwards. And I'm like, that's not what my Z looks like. So they're alternate. And what's the relationship between the sizes of the angles? They're equal. Very good. OK, so what we've got is these four kinds of properties, right? Uh, most of them are very similar. They give you equal angles, right? So vertically opposite angles, they're equal. They're the same. Corresponding angles, these are the ones that face in the same direction, right? They're also equal. And the last one, these alternate angles, they're also equal, 31, 31. Can someone tell me what would be alternate to this angle here? What's the name of the angle that's alternate to this one? Yeah, go ahead. Q R D. Now, that's exactly right. One of the ways you can see that is, again, think about where are the angles facing, right? If you drew like a little man here, which way is this angle facing? It's kind of going down, isn't it? Do you agree with that? Yeah. And its alternate one is not going down, it's going up. You see how they're going in opposite directions? That's what gives you an alternate angle. There's only one relationship between pairs of angles, and they're not equal in this case. What was that relationship? It's the one we started with, actually. Co-interior. Co it's right here, right? This guy here. When you have co-interior angles like these guys together or these guys together, they're not equal. They are supplementary. Um, though it's a bit sneaky, there is one and exactly one situation where they might actually be equal and supplementary as well. What would they have to be equal to if they were both? They have to be 90 and 90. Do you see that? Yeah, 90 and 90. That would be equal angles and also supplementary. Okay.